So, today we are doing something very exciting. We are unboxing our push chair and car seat. So basically our travel system. Um, my mum and dad very kindly bought us this for Christmas and baby waffle. Um, so yeah, I just thought we'd unbox it with you because I'm really excited. <laughs> and because mum and dad can't be here while we open it because of everything so I thought it'd be nice to put it on here so they can see us opening it too. Um, we went for the Mamas and Papas Acaro pushchair um, with the Cybex Cloud Z uh, upgraded car seat with the kind of upgraded um, Isofix base that comes with it as well. Um, we got it on the Black Friday deal so it's in the fossil grey colour and I'm so excited to open it! <laughs> Yeah, so that one's got to be the, like the Isofix base, hasn't it? Mm. Yeah, because it's got a picture on here. And then that's the car seat. This is the... I think that's the push chair, push chair. Which and one? this... No, that back one. And then I think this one might be the bath seat that I had to get to get it over a thousand pound. So that it... Um, so that we got the voucher. Okay. So open this one first, because this one might not be push chair related. I kind of had a bit of a go at this one the other day. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this is extras. It's oh, that's bag. yeah. It came with a with a. I was going to say diaper bag, but I've been watching too many American videos. Uh, changing bag. Oh, that's like the thing that Cold goes. Weather foot muff. Cold weather foot more. <laughs> we'll try all these on it in a bit. Oh, that's the bath seat. So this obviously isn't push chair related. But we got the Angel Care bath seat in grey. For our baby waffle to sit in when she has a bath. And then one of those should be a cup holder. For the Starbucks. They should be like the clips. Yeah, they're like the clip clip adapters to put the car seat onto the frame. Mm. Yeah. Right. One box down. Right. <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna do with all this cardboard. <laughs> so excited. Oh, yeah, it is the like the main framey bit of it, isn't it? Right. Oh, something oh, no. fell out. Right, so that's the seat. You know what the next difficult bit's going to be? Not put yeah. That's... They're wheels. And that's the frame. That'll fit in the car easy, won't it? Yeah. That's just, it falls over because it's got no wheels on it. Is there anything else in the box? What's that? Oh, that might be the rain cover. I don't, I didn't realise it came with one. It might not. It might be just like two or something. Yeah, I don't know what this is, so we'll have to check. Oh, more wheels and a handle. Put that on here. Is that everything that's in the box? Yep. Apparently it should take one person 15 minutes to build it. <laughs> one person 15 minutes to build? We shall see. <laughs> shall we time I don't it? Know what that is. I think it's all in like Arabic or something. Oh, it's is like it an like... extra bit of instructions in a different language that they didn't know. Oh, right, I see. Got the instructions. So we need... The frame. Mm -hmm. And we need... The little wheels or the big wheels? Let's have a look. The big wheels. These wheels look nice. So baby Waffle's got her own little alloys. Look. Look. <laughs> alloys. <laughs> They've even got like a, a diameter thing, like on cars. <laughs> 
and replace the tires. Yeah. We we'll have to black slick these, make them look jazzy. Put this bit here first. Yeah, like the frame bit. Is it heavy? No. I can't remember because we had to order this when it was in lockdown. So we couldn't go to the shop and just check it. We'd already been to see it once. Um, right, so you have to put the wheels on. Turn it the other way up so it's the same as the diagram. So, we put the wheels on these bits. Okay. Oh. Are they just round? Are they all just round? I think you just push them in. It just says it clicks. Unless you have to... No? No, they're not round. There's uh, like a D-shape as well. Oh, they are a D-shape. Can't see. Make these shapes towards the bottom. Well, you can both tape the thing, you know? Oh, yeah, because they're <laughs> wheels. There <laughs> you go. You weren't clicked. Yeah, it's pushed by There you go. How's it? Fitting the rear wheels. That's well, what we've just done. Now we have to do the front wheels. Put it in here. More alloys. Lovely. So what do we do with these? Where's the destructions gone? Click. Click them into where? The uh, front wheel bits. These bits down here. Do we leave it still this way around? Um. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So there's like a there's a hole you have to line up. By the looks of it. Look at these shape again. That must go that way. No, no, it's not. It's not, it's like a funny thing. Next is. Don't like not being in charge of the instructions. Unfolding the chassis. Oh. You need the instructions? Yeah, because I can't remember how she did it. So you put it. So you stand it up, don't you? Yeah, put it wheels, flip it over. Oh. So you have it like this, don't you? Just flip it up, so they've got it flipped all over. Oh, like flat. Yeah. And oh, pull, yes, pull I the remember. handle up. This handle? Yeah. Oh, we have to unclip the safety clip, which I think is here. <laughs> right, that's the safety clip. Right, it's the first time I've done this. We pick it up. Uh, no, one, no, that's not good. Mm -hmm. They've stood at the front. Yeah. You like pull it up towards you. Oh yeah, and then you like flick it, don't you? Yeah, she, she like pull it up towards you. There you go. Oh, how easy was that? Then apparently, all you do is with this little handle here, twist. Which well, can't twist because I've got packaging on it. Apparently you're not meant to do it with a baby in the seat. Oh, well, yeah, that would be a bit of an issue. And then you're meant to be able to pick this bit up. Oh! oh check you out. So easy! And then you put it back down. You remove the clip. You go like this. And you go... can't go joyriding by herself. So apparently now we just get the seat and click it in. Just click it in. Is this the seat? That's the seat. Oh. Right, so leave that bit flat. I wouldn't, un I, I don't think you can unfold right, it. So there's the clicky bit. So I think you click it in like this. Do you want to do it? Mm -hmm. Which way does it go? That way, yeah. that way. Either way. This way. Uh, do it the other way because that's the way baby waffle should be using it to start with. Are you ready? Yeah. There we go. 
click. In theory. And then it says. Oh, let's read the destructions. Is it? Just hasn't called it. Oh. Just has to click it in. Instructions. Have you got your instructions? Yeah. Maybe I clip it in this way. Yeah, and the first bit on the instructions. Can do it both ways. So we've got a hood. We've got a hood. Sunny. And the people. People. And this would also zip up there so you can make it. That's a ventilation port. If you want to. Yeah. And this bit zips up too, so there should be a zip on the side. Yeah. This must go down further. I think it's laid back on the shoulder. Baby waffle can lie down. Yeah, because then that must go up further. Like when you've got the zips yeah. down. And look, she's got a little pillow. So this is like a little insert that you put in for when they're really little. And then what, the grey bit? Yeah, this grey bit. Mm -hmm. And then I think you can like... Oh, maybe it's not. I don't know, I have to check. And you can screw up. Moving the seat. She didn't want to force it. Is that right? Mm -hmm. I think it is. She's not convinced. Oh, there. Fold in the push chair, we're going. Do you want to look? Yeah. So you have to have the hood flat. So you lift the handle at the back. Is that what you did? That's what I did, this handle. And you can't have any blankets or coats inside. And then two. So you flip it forward onto oh, this. I a line up. The green dots, which are half done. As long as they're on it, not in the red, I think that's okay. Yeah. And then you have to click something. Is it? What are you doing? I don't know. It's press this something here. Yeah, so I, I pressed that down and then it released it and then it's it like, like drop forward. Click. 
Yeah, it did click. And then something on the handle. Yeah, so this bit I can do. Yeah, and you just fold it up the way you did before. Fold it up and grab that handle in the middle. Yeah. Yeah, because then that clips. And then there's something on the side to click. Yeah. There, that click there. So then I should be able to pick this up and put it in the car. How heavy is it? It's quite heavy, but I'd rather it was sturdy than. It's not too heavy because you're never going to pick it up with baby in it, obviously, because it's folded up. <laughs> <laughs> and like, if I can pick it up now, six months pregnant, like me. Let's just tell you how to do it without the seat in it. Yeah. Um, so to unfold it. It tells you how to do it if it's facing the other way. Like, if you have it facing Yeah, because you have to flip the seat over. Is that what they're doing there? Yeah, because you like fold that flat the same way as before. Then I think you, yeah, then you, you like push it over. Yeah, so we do this. Oh. Here we go. Yeah. Then I'm assuming you just lift this. Or does it just? No, I think, no I think it just goes when it gets clicked. Oh. Take off the brick. Now are you doing that? Yeah, I think so. Adjust in the handle. So you've got these. So I think these things unclip. Lock and it, then pull it. I don't think we'll need it any higher. It's only really little. It would only just be for you, I think. Fit in the rain cover. So that thing in there must be the rain cover. Because that's like perfect height for me. Yeah, so if we want to do this. Oh, that was easier than the first time. Hmm. So we're going to put it on this way round. It's like this. So we can see where we are for. Very good. And then if we want to fold it up this way, we go, put that back, lift this handle up all the way, push it forwards. What do you think is there? Yeah, it's on green. Yeah. And then I think you flip it this way, like that. Yeah, and then just fold it. Up. And then just fold it up. screaming <laughs> and then all you do is you lift up you release the catch lift this and go Ooh, <laughs> and then we go like this with the seat do we and then lift up the handle and pull up the ladder I don't think we need to know how to yeah, do the straps. Yeah, need a baby anyway to set up. Yeah. Just to show the strap height. Oh, that was easy to open. So you just press this button. <laughs> what did you expect us to do? Like? No, but like you didn't have like some of them. You have to like squeeze like multiple things together at once. But you just have to press one button. And it all comes out nice easy. Okay. Just in the leg rest. So. You press that button now. Both both sides. Sides. Yeah. 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 It clicks into three positions. Yeah. Folding the push chair forward, facing, folding, push. We've got folding down. I like the folding right. mechanism on it because it's literally like I could do it with one hand. You know? So you think this is the rain cover? Yeah, I think that's the rain cover. We're probably going to need that. Be right. We'll just stop running by the time today. Okay. 
I thought, because I thought I was going to have to get that separately, but because I didn't realise it included it. Because mm -hmm. it wasn't on like all of the pictures, but it must just be like standard with the pushchair. I'll probably take this off because it will drive me mad. What is it? It's just like a, like a portable instruction guide. Clip it somewhere else. Yeah. We, we've discovered I've put it on inside out. <laughs> well, why did it come inside out? It didn't. It opens it inside out. <laughs> Oh, this might make more sense. Oh, well, no, look. Is it easier when I think so? I'm going to that way, the baby's getting wet and screaming. <laughs> this is why we're having a practice run. Well, that makes more sense. All the fabric bits are on the inside. So, have they started attaching it this side first or the other side first? Well, they didn't take the back first, didn't they? So it's... I can't get it to pick up a little bit. Is that because I've got too many things down? Yeah. Good. Not the actual push tail, you know. It's easier, right? There, right. We're hooked over the baby's feet. These bits must. I was saying that I think this is snap together. This yeah. Because we haven't got it fully extended. Yeah. Yeah. That's how the rain cover works then. Well, that was a. I hope it doesn't start raining fast. It's probably stopped raining now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Uh huh. We've got a cup holder. The important part. Nineteen pound and it's all in this. Is it? Yeah, sure what just put these instructions. I think I know where it goes. drinks in here in case you put them on baby waffle and up to half a kilogram of juice half a kilogram half a kilogram of juice so that must like move so that oh maybe it's just not put it on properly right oh, there that's better okay What's this ready for our afternoon walks now just the foot mop tossing it down and i've got a cup of hot chocolate that's the foot mop. You don't normally walk in the rain, do you? No, that's not happening. Halfway there. So we've managed to get the foot mop attached. Um, I'll, if you want to see how to attach it, I'll do a separate video on it. But it wasn't as difficult as we were trying to make it. You basically just lie it in and put all the straps through. But I couldn't work out how to dismantle all the straps, but I've worked that out. So she's got a nice little, little toasty sleeping bag in the, in the push chair. She arrives late March, so depends what the weather's doing and whether she'll need it or not. But we've put it in for now. Um, we, oh, Philip's unboxed my the changing bag. I say my baby waffles, <laughs> which matches the push chair. Again, I'll do a separate video on that if you would like. And now we are going to open the carry cot attachment. We've basically been playing with that for about two hours. <laughs> it, they are right, it took about 15 minutes to put together. But then learning how all the bits and gadgets and what's it's and who's it's do took a while. But I think we've cracked it. And now we have to learn this carry cot thing, which I think it should be easier. Because this will be what she goes in to start with for at least like the first six months or so. Ready? Yeah. I think this one, I've seen people put this together, so I think this needs you to do it because I won't be strong enough. So I'll let you build this bit. 
freebies. Oh, that looks toasty too. Doesn't it? No instructions in the box uh, so no. maybe put it down and unzip oh there it all fell out anyway so I think I've seen other people do this take the mattress out take all the gubbins out that's inside oh there's your instructions there in the bottom I think what you have to do like see this one on the end here that you've got pushed up it's got, it's got orders in it Oh. order of which way to do it. Oh, I see. Yeah, that one goes that way. That's what I mean about me not being strong enough. There. All clipped in. Yeah, one. And this one. Two, three. There we go. Lovely. So then I think you put this in it. Oh, yep. This, this is like the zippy, zippy round bit. Yeah, that looks right. Oh yeah, make it nice and comfy for her. Way around. And that way around that you had it, just put it in like that. Which way? Without the, the tags at the top or not? No, tags at the bottom. Because if you look, the zips match where the like hood starts. Oh yeah. Okay. That's so you can zip it off if maybe off a nice accident. Kind of accident. She might drop a chocolate. <laughs> I can hear Alan. <laughs> there you go. Lovely. Five, zip it up, six, zip it up, seven. Put this in. That's her mattress. Does it go that way? No, it goes the other way. I do The other way is the way to get it off. Yes. Lovely. And then I think it's just to put the like cover on it. Them little buttons there. Uh huh. Back. Oh, lovely. Up and down. And this thing goes on with some crystals. Which are under. So it must just like flop over the end. Yes, I think it like the fabric pulls out. No, I think it, it does. Oh, it goes inside, yeah. So I think it said there was magnets on it. Yeah. And then, then that's done. Snap. And it's just snap and click onto here. Onto the pushchair. So I think it's saying that you can lift this up and see through it. Oh, so there's like a mesh thing yeah. for ventilation. Well, if you want to keep an eye on her. Yeah, but she should be facing you. So you should be able to see in this bit. So this has to be forward facing. Rear, like, like you facing, facing you, yeah. parent facing, yeah. yeah. It's saying don't put it on the other. Yeah. And you just put it in and it clicks on and yeah. then this bit the handle at the front lifts it off. Alright okay. So do you want to try? 
So if you take this one off first, it off? the slidey things and the buttons on the side. Yeah. It's easier to get off when it's open. Probably should have the brake on. Lovely. On baby waffle seat. Mm, she's over. So it goes on this way. Yeah. And you have to, I said, like pull the handle in as you put it on. Lovely. Oh, perfect. Oh, she's going to have the coolest wheels in the West. It's a good pusher, isn't it? Do you need to put the handle up? I don't know how high it's meant to be. I don't know, just where it feels comfortable, I think. So that's the pushchair. So you can't you can't fold the frame down with that on it. You have to take that off yeah. before you fold the frame down. Yeah, I was just checking. But yeah, that's what Baby Waffles going to go on a nice little walks round Durham to the coffee shops. Have you put the brake on? It's probably helpful. The brake's dead easy as well. I've seen people complain about the brake, but. It like barely takes anything to get it on and off. I said put the the rain cover over that too as well. Oh good. Oh, look. As presented. Oh that's good. I'm assuming it's the same rain cover. Yeah, maybe don't know, we'll check. Yeah. That's it. Okay. That's all I So that's all the push chair bits. That's took a gazillion boxes. And now we've got... Can I take this bit off? Yeah, go on then. You might just have to pull it hard, yeah. I think they're just a bit stiff, which is good, because it means they're not loose to start with. Should put this on back and keep it up the way? Yeah, we'll fold it up with that in it. So now we've got the Isofix base. This one? Yeah, we can do that. That one's not a very jazzy, exciting one, but yeah. And then these are the adapter clips for it to go onto the push chair. So this is the Cybex uh, Base Z, which um, swivels, so when you put the car seat in, you can like turn it towards the door to get baby in and out. And apparently it also works with like the next size car seat up as well, so we shouldn't have to get another Isofix Base, which is all good. It's a very fancy box. Mm. Made in Germany, they even make the box as well. Oh. I assume that's going to be heavy. They must be adapters for something. Yeah. So that's like the foot that goes on the floor. And then this bit goes on the seat. It looks huge. You're like, is that going to fit on the chair? It must fit on the chair because I assume they're all like standard sizes. Right. So we're going for the car seat now. Now we're going to open a box. Where I injured myself. This is the Cloud Z I size. Don't know what that means. Oh, I think we need to open this. I did this wrong. 
It's only when I put it open, you prepped me to do it all wrong. which is good. Uh, they grilled me. There we go. Oh, this is posh. Mm -hmm. the washing machine got mental in the background. So, Read the instructions. Oh, we must have. Right. That's how you put the handle up. Click, click. And then the main reason I like this one and upgraded it. Firstly, look, look how snazzy that looks. And then on the back, there's this lever. I think it's this one, which means that. You can lie the car seat down. I think that might not be the right lever. I thought it was that lever. Oh look. There. So you can lie it flat so that baby girl can sleep in it longer when she's in the bush chair. So you can lie it flat, do this, and lift up her a cover. Oh nice. Buckle. The buckle looks nice and easy. Oh, click. Oh, should we try and put it on the base? Mm -hmm. You have to you have to have it in the seated position. It'd be a lot easier to do if we weren't on the floor. Where's my lever gone? I'm too weak. <laughs> Time to swap? Yeah. I've been doing too much building this afternoon before we need to lie down. Um, so see that this you can't do that yet so see this silver lever on the back mm -hmm. you need to like lift it so that it's back in like car seat shape so the silver bit right at the top is the handle yeah like that I just couldn't do it yeah so what it did when you pulled that lever it put like red things in here so you couldn't use it as like a car seat. Oh, so um, it'll go on the other way around. I'm assuming. So look here. You're trying to line up. There, that sounds like it clicked in properly. Lady nutted you. Because you, you, you put it in that way, wouldn't you? Yeah, that's the idea. Like, right. you put it in so it's facing the car door. And then you do the swivels. Again, a lot more easier when it's actually in a car. Um, no, because it can't face frontwards. She has to face backwards. That's probably why it won't let you turn it that way. That's a good safety feature, so you can't actually make it front-facing. 
She's good. She looks like she'll be snug as a bug in a rug in that. Doesn't she? Mm-hmm. Well, and this attaches to the pushchair as well. Yeah, so it attaches to the pushchair too. So like if you pop into the shops, you don't have to take like the big, put the big carry cot thing on. You just put her straight in from the car seat. Okay. Right, so... Well now, so then there's like a different attachment for if it's like bigger. Yeah, so this will this should last. I think she said up to about fifteen months. You said four years, I think. No, the base or oh, the base. the like Isofix base. Yeah. Bit for the car. Yeah. It'll last for four years. Yeah. But this bit, I think, is like fifteen months ish. And then you would buy. It like... depends on the weight of your baby. Okay. And then you can buy like a front facing car seat. Yeah, it says up to eighteen months on here. Yeah. As it depends on how chubby she is. And then the next one goes to four years. Yeah. Right. Do you want to try and build the push chair this time? So this can go on the push chair too. Yeah. Yeah. So now we take this off. Ta-da! It's a bit of a pain in the bum to like fold it up with the foot muff thing on it. So we might not do that. <laughs> I don't have a clue. <laughs> um, I actually have no idea. Unless that is what that lever's for at the back. That, you know, the grey one you were pulling earlier. Yeah, so if you put your, put the handle up first. Which is the grey buttons on the side. Please. No. What? Keep Move your hands further back. There. So just twist it with your hands on both the buttons there. Okay. And release it with the button at the back, I think. Yeah. Oh, that was easy to release. Even easier when it's actually oh. attached to something. Um, we need to put the adapters in. Sorry, I forgot. We need to get better with this for when Baby Waffle arrives. Where so there you go in the side. Ah, There you go. You had them in the wrong sides. Yeah, there's a one and a two on the on the pram. Oh, right. It wasn't, it's not left and right, it's one and two. So there's one and two on the pram and one and two on the thing. Yeah, we've mastered it. Basically, there's a one and a two on these. And there's a one and two on the frame and we had them on the wrong sides. So it was a lot easier to put on once we actually had them on the right sides. I'm trying to show you before my battery dies. So to get it off, break back on. I'm assuming we push some handles on the. We press these buttons in. Yeah. Just can't get that one pressed in. Yeah. Let's yeah. baby waffle off. Let's put it back on. Once we find the holes. See, it was easy. Did it. And that was us trying to build a push chair. It must have taken us around four hours in total. It didn't actually take that long to put the things together. It was more getting to used to how like all the gizmos and gadgets worked on them and a lot of like the levers and things were like quite stiff and with it being new I didn't want to force anything and um, we have kind of got to grips with it a lot more now and um, baby isn't here yet so we haven't tried it with her um but yeah it was just a fun afternoon of trying to build it and obviously something to do when we couldn't really do anything over Christmas um but one of the things that I did mention was the fact that it was really difficult to fold up with the foot muff in the um like car not the car seat in the like normal pram seat 
and I we managed to get into a mamas and papas before the like retail stores were closed again in January and I asked them like what like if it could be folded up like that or if it wasn't meant to be and she basically said all you need to do is kind of half unzip it and fold it forward so there's not as much fabric in the like main crease bit and it should work fine so hopefully we'll give that a try once we're using that bit of the push chair again we've managed to get the car seat into the car and the car like the isofix base in and the car seat in which really didn't it wasn't that much of a faff <laughs> we seemed to have cracked it i used an aa video of how to fit car seats um if you want a video on how to put it into the car um which i promise will be more informative than too much two numpties trying to build a push jet which is basically what i think i should call this video um give me let me know and i will film it when we transfer it from phil's car to my car um but yeah we had a lot of fun on the afternoon of building and playing with the push jet it is a really really good travel system in my opinion from just building it um it is really simple to use once you get to grips with it it's just that getting to grips with it bit that takes a little time but i genuinely think that'll be the same with any travel system that you do buy particularly if you're first time parents all very alien and all very much like what does this do how do i do that like it's a minefield but yeah i'm really looking forward to using it with little one once she arrives i hope you enjoyed this video i kind of at first i was going to make it more of an instructional video of this is how you do it but I just wanted to keep it more real life and this is genuinely how what it looked like us putting the car seat together and the push chair together it was literally like the chuckle brothers trying to <laughs> build a push chair but i hope you enjoyed it and so if you've got the same push chair if you've got any tips and tricks on it that you can share with me and um, put them in the comments down below and if you want to see a full review of it once we've actually started using it and any tips and tricks that I come across let me know again and I will definitely share that with you this was the Akaro fossil uh, push chair in the I think it was the nine piece set um where it came with like the extra bits and the clouds the um car seat with the isofix base so yeah I hope you've enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out.